Hi, Vortex. I'm going to play you my favorite chords, which I know you've already heard before if you're a fan of this channel. I'm sorry if you don't like them. This is my channel. <laughs> My fucking keyboard just stopped. One second. <laughs> that happens from time to time. They're trying to tell me that the battery is running out. on the Rumble account. Sorry if the camera is wobbly. I am, uh, well, I'll just... This is where I am. And, um, this is, uh, This is the part of the road that goes around. <laughs> and then we get back to the main road. I use my turn signal because I'm a good person that plays in communication. Okay. Most of the time. Sometimes I don't communicate. Mainly because I don't fucking feel like it. But I know that that's wrong. It's a bad sentiment. And I'm sorry. I really don't need these to be on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna use my turn signal again, because I believe in communication still. <laughs> I think that a lot of people feel that way. 
Just about living day to day. But then they do stuff all day that makes them more depressed. It makes them more anxious. And they don't have to do those things, but they choose to do those things, and they're not conscious of the choice that they make day to day. And that's why my channel exists. Go on. What are you doing? Are you going to turn or not? What are you doing? Go. Okay. I hate it when people have their turn signal on. I guess they don't think I'm going to let them go. It's okay. It's a safe assumption, actually. They're probably trying to be a cautious driver, and I'm being impatient. But, yeah, I hate it when people have their turn signal on, and I'm, and I'm like, letting them go, and they're, they're still just like, what, uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure it can go? Are you sure? I'm positive. And I used to never be positive about anything. So this is really weird for me to be on this level. I never thought that being on this level was even remotely achievable. But that just shows you what God can do. If you do his will. If you follow his commandments, and his main commandment is to love one another. Because if you don't love your brother, the love of the Father is not in you. And you know, this is really important to me. I read the Bible because it helps me. I don't read the Bible to school anybody or to feel superior. I know I've mentioned this multiple times in multiple ways, but I have to re-mention it again because a lot of people like to twist the things that you say. I'm not in this imaginary contest. You're never going to win in an imaginary contest. But, I'm housewife, and God's my husband. I'm housewife, in the house of the Lord, and I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna clean. That's all I care about, is making him proud of me. A lot of people don't understand gender roles. And men and women are all kinds of screwed up. There's a reason I said men first, because men are first, women are second. And if women can't serve a man, one man, only one man, then she's supposed to serve the Lord, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do. Everything that you see me do is a fine attempt to serve the Lord, to serve the Lord. And you can think that's stupid. You can think that's meaningless. I don't care. I'm still going to keep doing it regardless. But anyway, back to me attempting to address this person who's downtrodden and or motherfuck up trodden. Talk to yourself, talk to God, talk to yourself, talk to God, talk to yourself, talk to God. You might find it odd, but it's really not. You see all this shit I got? The many people would not want. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm happy, right? Isn't that the goal, to, like, be happy? Isn't that the goal to like have a good attitude and you know walk around every day with a sense of purpose? Like I definitely have that. And I didn't have that before. And I want to talk about alcohol. I was an alcoholic 
for a minute. It was a long ass minute. But I think that people drink excessively for two reasons. They're either really bored or they're really traumatized. Okay, I was really traumatized. And people that are really traumatized are able to contribute quite a bit to the world. The reason why I bitch about 12 step cults is because I think the majority of the people that go are boring. I think they're narcissists. I don't think they contribute anything to the world, okay? But a lot of people are very boring and so they do the same thing that everybody else does and you know, alcoholism is a very good way to escape. It's a very easy way to escape. And I see a lot of people using alcohol, people that aren't very interesting, people that don't really have much going for them. They don't feel like they have a sense of purpose. So they're using booze to escape that, you know? Well, I always felt like I had a sense of purpose. I just didn't know what it was. And so I was just stumbling around. And I felt really empty. But it's not because I was actually empty. It didn't make a lick of sense. So I was just pouring with emotion. I had so much emotion, I didn't know what to do with it. So I used booze to try to make sense out of it. Now I definitely made sense out of that darkness inside of me. Everybody has darkness inside of them. I just went down to the very bottom of the well so I could understand it better. And I know for a fact that God is real. And if you believe in him enough, and you trust in the light, you trust that there is light, it will come and it will shower you. But that's the thing. I, a lot of people aren't willing to take those kinds of risks. And so they don't have that wisdom that comes from heartache and pain and suffering and all that shit. Now, while I don't suggest becoming a raging alcoholic like I did, I think that it helps to understand God better. I really do. So when I go to church and I take Holy Communion, I take it for the same reason that I down a bottle of vodka, okay? So Holy Communion is a lot like a case of beer. <laughs> it offers me salvation, you know? And I just don't think that people really understand that unless they've, they've been down the bottom of the well. They don't get why God is so necessary. And if religion, we know it's organized, we forgive, okay? We know it's controlled, we forgive. If religion helps somebody achieve that more, if, if, if religion helps somebody tap in to that part of them that we all have, then that's a good thing for that person. Unfortunately, I don't think that most people that are involved in any kind of religion actually do that. I think it's either just something that they can identify with, like something that comforts them, or it's something that they can use to shame other people. It's an explanation, you know? Don't think I don't know. But because I'm a housewife in the kingdom of God, I live a very fulfilling life and I'm never bored with what I got that he gave to me. And there are a lot of things that happen to me. There are a lot of things that I experienced that were not fun at all. But God showed me they didn't have to be so bad after all. That I could take them and twist.
twist them and keep twisting them until I saw the purpose. I could take them and twist them and keep twisting them until it was all worth it. And I hope that you find that. Don't give up, sweetheart. Don't give up. Don't despair. Jesus has overcome the world, okay? If you have the love of God inside of you, you can overcome all this shit. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. I think about that all the time. I'll give you an example. It's a very, it's a very minor example, okay? So yesterday I was working at my job, which is a restaurant. If you don't know, if you do know, take a shot. So I got a lot of alcoholics that watch this channel, okay? Um, I work with this chick who's like a total hothead. She's also a pothead, you never know it because of how much she goes off. But you know, when she gets mad, she just takes it out on everybody. You know, everybody's her punching bag. And she really shouldn't be that way as manager, which is one of the reasons why I say that women shouldn't be in any kind of authority position. But let's not go on a tangent that strongly resembles misogyny. Let's not do that just yet. Um, but I, I've, I've spoken about her several times. I pray for her a lot even though I'm pretty sure that those prayers are a waste. But... She was behaving the way that she behaves when she gets mad yesterday. Um, we were in the middle of a rush, and there was this new kid that had no idea what the fuck he was doing. And there's this other dude that we work with who does know what he's doing, but... When he gets stressed out, he, he kind of like slows down. And I'll totally admit that, you know, I've been working all day. And so I, I kind of lost my steam, you know? And so we're like in the middle of a rush and like everybody's just moving at a snail's pace. And she's just pissed the fuck off because she feels like she's the only one working. And so she's just going off, going off, going off. And I am so tempted to walk out because in the moment, I'm just mad. Because I feel that way all the time. Dude. I feel that way all the time because I can't tell you how many times like the dishes are piling up and nobody wants to take the initiative to do anything, you know? They're just on their phones. They're not gonna do anything unless they're told to do it. Nobody feels compelled to take care of a problem. This is this is the issue I have with America too, by the way, is that people are just waiting on somebody else to do something. Well, you know, I'm the type of person, if I see a bunch of dishes piling up, I'm just gonna go back there and knock it out myself. You know, I'm not gonna wait on somebody else. I'm not gonna wait on the dishwasher to do their job because you know, they're, they're too busy on their phone too. So, Anyway, I feel the same way that this, this, this girl that I'm talking about, I, I feel the same way that she did last night. I feel that way all the time. But I don't voice that because I know it's not going to change anything. Well, she doesn't have that level of awareness. And as mad as I was in the moment, I didn't say anything, I just kept working. And then the feeling passed, and then she got over it, you know? Everything got taken care of, and, you know, nobody, nobody's feelings were hurt, okay? But I was just thinking about how lucky I am that I have that realization. That, like, just because I feel a certain way doesn't mean that I have to act on that feeling and, you know, 
she doesn't have that awareness that you know her going off is not going to change anything she doesn't have self-control so she can't even stop herself from doing it and so I just felt sorry for her but a lot of people want to be mad you know they just want to stay bitter and angry and y'all know I'm bitter but I don't want to be bitter I don't want to be narcissistic. I don't want to be arrogant. One of the reasons I hate technology so much, one of the reasons I hate social media so much, one of the reasons I still have a flip phone is because I see technology as dehumanizing. And I'm not going to do something that robs me of my humanity. I'm not going to do something that I disagree with as much as I disagree with smartphones. I don't want to stay stagnant, you know? But a lot of people, they don't understand that reacting to things is not helping them at all. But you can't tell them that. Like, that's why I don't even bother talking to her when she gets mad, because it's like she's in a mood. And I tell people this all the time, like, people that believe in medication, I tell them, if you're dealing with somebody that's moody, or if, you, if you're moody yourself, just fucking wait. You know, just wait. People are so impatient. They can't wait for something to change. That's why I don't take any of these news stories seriously, because they're not fucking serious. You're not gonna be talking about this shit in like three days, you know? So like all this stuff that people are concerned about in relation to Haitians eating pets, okay? They're gonna forget all about it. Just like they're gonna forget how much Christian conservatives wanna bitch about cat people. So it's just stupid. Like, like nobody actually cares about any of this shit. And so, yeah, I understand why this channel isn't popular because I'm calling everybody out and saying they're full of shit, you know? Like, why don't they like me? Why is it the algorithm pushing my content that says that the algorithm is bad? Why is it the algorithm pushing my content that's telling people to break their smartphone? It's like, things will never get better. And the reason why they will never get better is because people don't want them to. You love the drama. You love feeling sorry for yourself. You love having something to whine about. This is why I suggest suicide. Because people are already dead. If they're not willing to do anything to help themselves, if they're not willing to do anything that inspires their own personal growth, then what's the point in continuing on? But, you know, I guess I'm a cunt for that. But I gotta go to work, so I'll see y'all later.